of work and comparison work in where, where the burden should go to here. Yeah. yeah, we've seen this year especially with the increase of farmland that that's made it harder oh, yeah. for rural communities. Yes, and just uh, further to that, we found that we had to be absolutely dogged on the way we approach this and we targeted every individual councillor to make them fully aware of what was going and understand the issues from a rural person's point of view. Because a lot of the actual councillors don't, don't have that understanding. And you've really got to get them, not two of them together, one at a time. Away from and away from the council offices. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of an education process, totally agree. Sometimes you need to have a hammer, sometimes you don't. Um, um, yeah, sorry, Chris Sharkey from, uh, from LA. Um, like Sam, uh, we were on a, um, a section 86 quite a few years ago doing the same thing in Wirralshire, and we've come up with the same problems. You, we um, explain ourselves to councillors, we explain ourselves to the CEO, and they have just won't have a bar of it. Um, and, and talking with ministers and, and, and like yourself, commented on that, um, that fantastic 155, 56 page document that's sitting in Parliament at the moment. There's some really good recommendations in that, but unless unless we take a, enough is enough, even a bigger stand, I, I can see it's even putting it down on rates. I, 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 Peter Walsh did this back in, when he was president of the VFF. Simon Ramsey wrote one of the, sorry, wrote one of the best um, explanations and documents I've seen come out of the VFF, but you can't, they won't take any notice at all. I, I think we need to take it to another level and really push hard to, to try and stop it completely. Thanks, Chris. It should be noted too that uh, Lisa and I visited uh, one of those lawyer type folk. So you get some advice about what can councillors do around differentials, and they've given us preliminary advice and will give us hopefully formal advice um, in the coming week. That all councillors can resubmit a budget. They can resubmit a budget any time of the year, and resubmit it to get the, the rating strategy changed to be more to fairer. Now, there's got to be a lot of councils hide behind the fact that it's set and forget. But the reality is far from that, and that's where we can actually make a change and still stop the bleeding this year by getting them to, re to resubmit. The second part, which you raised, Chris, you also have asked for the legal advice about withholding of rates. What does that look like? It doesn't look very nice, but we're getting the legal formalities of what that could be. So we are we are actively pursuing what that may may or may not look like. Yeah. Sorry, just to add in that too. Like, I have even heard my feelings.